welcome to the channel thank you everybody for tuning in now today is not going to be a review it's going to be an unboxing now i don't usually do unboxings uh, i'll go straight in for the review however i have reviewed this watch before uh, and the uh, steel diver just released a, a new variant now um, let's have a look then let's see what they have Now, as you can see, this is the Steel Dive SD1975 tuner. Um, but I think the model number is something else because this is the PVD version. Now, they just released this model not too long ago. Um, and they've done something pretty cool, I would say. At least it looked that way in the pictures. And uh, they've got these, you know, colored loom options um, on the hands, dial, and the bezel insert. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't reviewed any steel dives recently is because, uh, you know, while I was reviewing um, the steel dive watches when I was going through their core uh, sort of products, you know, they were, I think they were killing it at that point. So they were making new models, you know, every other day. Uh, but since then, I think they've died down quite a bit. Uh, and for me personally, uh, the latest models haven't really hit that spot. So I'll put some pictures up. Um, they've done a Black Bay homage, which... You know, it was a bit meh. It didn't really, um, you know, interest me enough to uh, get one in uh, for a review. And then um, they release the Oris style homage, um, which I'll show you a picture right now. And again, it does not really doing anything for me. It looks pretty well built, I'd say. But I don't know. I think Steel Dive for me have almost they've lost that thing that they had. Uh, maybe they've lost some enthusiasm or they've lost some direction. Um, but I think the main thing is is the lack of bracelets and uh, they're just throwing everything they make on you know these straps which you know, they're okay for some models but for the most part they're a bit bogus um, so you know I made my regular order with steel dive uh, and then I thought let's just you know whack this in let's have a look uh, put it on the channel you know uh, and see what it's all about because you know it's a tuner I know they've, they've done uh, their, their tuner homages are really good um, one of the best value for money watches uh, and then you know just talking about value for money they did do a new model the omega pro plus homage which it looks it looks pretty good um 1200 meters of water resistance there's a picture on the screen for you now um but this is what this is crazy about steel dive so they did try to plug me on this model don't get me wrong um but they're asking on the aliexpress store around 280 for it now that's absolutely ridiculous going from you know most of the watches you can pick them up for in or around 100 pounds give or take 20 30 pounds you know for you to make a jump from there all the way up to 280 is absolutely crazy um so even though it looks you know somewhat decent um it's a homage of a well you know known um watch uh, you know well loved watch as well so but still you know it wasn't enough i mean i think i'd done it as a form of a silent protest and i just said to him no, i'm not buying this too much um but yeah so that wasn't anything really that excites me um you know if you're a fan of the new models obviously no no um disrespect um but yeah so i got this tuner in let's just do an unboxing on it so it's going to be a quite a short video uh we're not going to do a full review i think i've reviewed the tuners enough um so dimensions specifications i'll link uh, a previous review if you would like to see that um, but we're just going to look at this see what this has got to offer now there's three different colors this is the one with the ready pinky loom um, and then they've done one in the orange and they've done one in a dark blue i'll put again i'll put pictures up here for you guys to see so i think it's nice they've done that that's why uh, i actually bought it and it reminded me of number one the seiko 5kx um they do the stealth color options and they do something quite similar and also the uh, san martin 6105 8000 model which um they call i think the black warrior uh series which had similar colors of loom so i wanted to get it to see how well they've actually done this loom so while we've got it here let's just have a quick look at the pvd um coating is is immaculate really the brushing is really smooth let's give you guys a close-up fantastic brushing uh, and i've said this about this model uh, even in the stainless steel version that this is one of the most uh, effective value for money uh, tuna homages you can buy you don't need to get anything else really if you just 
mod it with a you know a different dial um that's actually all you need so around the shroud pretty well done really good brushing um so the quality on these models is actually there you've got a signed crown of course stainless steel case back with the usual logo and let's check the bezel rotation very very nice very smooth easy to rotate yeah i like that quite a lot no playback uh, and let's give you guys a close-up so you've got green marine automatic 300 meters at the six o'clock let's give this some power to this watch NH35 movement, as you can see, double dome sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel insert with those pinky red markers, and the dial is the dial like they had on the previous models. So you've got this tuner style dial, steel dive logo at the 12. Now, why won't this move? I've been winding it for long enough now. Is this DOA? Date window finished in black. You know what, guys? I do think this is actually DOA. Um, usually, when these watches arrive, I do check them, um, but I think I must have just seen it ticking in the box and just left it. But this is the second DOA I've had uh, from Steel Dive. Oh, it's working. Lucky, lucky escape, Steel Dive. Otherwise, um, they were going to hear from me, no doubt. But yeah, I've had a DOA uh, come from them once before, uh, and I just simply returned the model. Maybe just needed a longer wind. Who knows? So the color scheme, they've gone... Uh, with, they've got applied markers so this is the difference between the usual steel dive uh, tuner model where um, the hour markers aren't applied but they have upgraded the dial here so you can see this silver polished outline around all the, the markers applied circular markers and you still got printed logos we've got pretty decent chapter ring great visibility and of course they use this AR coated crystal Good fit and finish. And you got these brushed tuna style hands. So what I'm actually interested in what it looks like when it is loomed up. So that's why I bought it. So let's have a look at the loom. Now here's a uh, loom shot, as you can see it's shining quite bright, but that's because I've had to blast it with the UV lamp. Usually on most of the watches that I do, I don't really blast them with the UV, but without the UV, uh, honestly speaking, you could not see the loom. So this uh, is actually the least reflective loom that you can use on a watch. Um, there's no color code for it, it's just called dark red. After this loom shot, I'll show you the spectrum, uh, which shows you the most reflective looms or looms with the highest uh, brightness yield. So longevity wise, this loom is not gonna last quite long, but it is quite cool to look at. Um, the fact that it's red is something different, something we're not used to. And that applies the same for the dark blue and the orange. They're at the lower end of the spectrum. The brightest being C1, C3 Super Luminova and BGW9 amongst others. Um, but as you can see, as I'm just talking, it's been under a minute and it's already started to die down quite a bit so this is that little spectrum i was talking about uh, you can download this from google uh, and you, as you can see c3 is at the top end of the spectrum with the highest yield followed by bgw9 then you've got c5 and the dark blue is at around 60 percent the dark orange around 27 percent and the dark red sitting there at 22 percent so that's where the loom stands um that you know, the steel dive I've decided to use for this model. So I've just took it off the bracelet, uh, or sorry, the strap, and don't really like these straps at all. Um, and I think we're, we're good to actually summarize. So um, for me, the good things about this watch is, obviously they've preserved the build quality. Uh, I said that from 
and the previous tuners homages that they've done great build quality and you know premium materials again so sapphire ceramic uh, stainless steel and uh, pretty well executed as well um what i don't like the red loom i mean it, it, it you know 50 50 i bought it because of the loom right it's something different but you know it's actually quite ineffective um and i don't like the fact that they use these straps i mean uh, the benefit of these tuner cases is you can stick any um straight end strap so you can use any leather strap but if you want to go for your bracelets uh, on aliexpress ebay there's there's loads available uh, so anything with a flat 22 mil end uh, will fit this and pvd bracelets are available so you can get engineer style you can get you know all, all matter of styles are available so it's it would be nice if they started including bracelets or it'd be even better for steel dive to start actually going that little bit further and creating or making their own bracelets as we see with most of the other brands they do provide you know pretty decent bracelets and of course san martin being the best at the moment just due to that clasp and the finishing but yeah i mean if steel dive really want to go higher up and they want people to pay 280 for that pro plaf and and other watches they need to invest more money of course we know they're at the moment the best value for money watches but you know that's what they're gonna be you know because all the money's gone into the watch case that's fine but you know add some more money into your bracelet add some more money into your finishing and the worst thing for me steel dive is their qc they do have quite a lot of qc issues uh, but credit to them they do try and fix them uh, and i've not had uh let me think i've not had any repeats saying that which is you know maybe they've kept an uh, extra eye because of i've mentioned something so there we have it the new steel dive tuna homage with the funky loom and that's it uh, there's not going to be a full review on this i think i've just tried to uh, compile it with the within this unboxing so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.